Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is Thursday. Um, we were supposed to have our third summer league meet today, but at Elizabethtown, but it got canceled, so we're doing our own here. I'm gonna be doing the 110 hurdles and then some long jump. So we're setting it up and then we're gonna get a good warm up in and then we're gonna get right into it. It's gonna be a little challenging because there's no competition. It's pretty much just a time trial, but we're just gonna try and push it and see what we can hit and then get some good jumps in. All right, let's get into it. So here we go, 110 meter hurdles, time trial. This is the first time that I'm actually going over all 10 hurdles at the college heights and at the actual markets. Before, before they were down a height and slightly shifted forward. Um, so this will be the first real test to see where I'm at. Um, one thing important to note here is that my dad will be running alongside me just to give me someone to chase and to make it feel more like a race. So here we are, getting the blocks and set and go. So I'm off, first couple hurdles are good. Uh, one thing you can notice, my trail leg is just kind of lagging behind me a little bit. That's one thing that's just slowing me down, but we're looking pretty good. Clip the last one a little bit, but fight through the line. And the time was pretty good, 16.98 seconds. So here we are, quick look at the form. Just barely hit that one with my heel, but pretty good otherwise. Now we're moving on to long jump. We're gonna do six jumps here. Um, and this is just some warm up. We have started working on, instead of just jumping and um, leading my legs, we're working on what's called the cycle. So you can see here with this first jump, we get up in the air well, and it kind of looks like I'm running in the air with my arms and legs. And that wasn't my best jump, it was only 18, nine something. But the first jump is kind of like a warm up. So here we go with the second jump. Coming in well, that one was a bit better, almost a whole foot better there. And that looked pretty decent. So one thing that the cycling is going to help me is just going to help me just uh, kind of stay in the air a bit longer. There for my third jump, my left leg came down a little bit early there. You can see here in the slow motion. So that's one thing that I'm really trying to work on now is to keep my legs up um, while I'm going through. And then if I can do that, that's gonna just add on another several inches if not a foot. And that was a good jump there. Really got good height on that one, it extended. And there's even a lot more to come there because I can feel that I'm just coming down early. That one, I was just a little tired, didn't get up in the air, and was leaning back there too. It's important to, when you jump and go up, to keep your chest kind of uh, level. Because if you don't, you can tend to lean back, and that's kind of what I did for those last two jumps. And this one was better, but I'm still kind of leaning back. Just need to work on keeping that chest high and straight. So two PRs there, um, hurdle PR, and then new long jump PR by two inches, I think. So really happy with those two. Coming up really soon, I'll be doing another meet where I'm doing the 100 long jump and 200 maybe. So really looking forward to saying some new PRs there. Um, kind of seeing how far I've come since my first meet. I think this will be the last one of the summer. So yeah, stay tuned for that, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. 